I found the best scene from each Star Wars movie, and in this video, I'm going to be going over all of them. And because this list is in chronological order, we're starting off with The Phantom Menace. Now, there are a lot of good scenes in The Phantom Menace, but personally, I think that the best one by far is obviously The Duel of the Fates. I'm not just saying that because the duel itself has some insane choreography, although it really does. Especially this part right here, when Qui-Gon is dead and all you're left with is the pure rage of Obi-Wan. They literally had to slow down the camera in post-production because the actors were moving unrealistically fast. Now that's insane. But aside from the actual duel, the emotion in this fight is really good. Obi-Wan tapping into the dark side to jump out of the pit and kill Maul, or at least almost kill him, was very well done. And when Qui-Gon died, it was actually sad, and you really felt like you had lost an important character. Plus, it's honestly probably the most important scene in the movie, as well as maybe Star Wars itself. The reason I say that is because Obi-Wan promising to train Anakin is most likely the only reason that Anakin ever became a Jedi in the first place. If it hadn't been Qui-Gon's literal dying wish, then there is no way whatsoever that the Council would ever have let Anakin become a Jedi. And as we all know, Anakin is literally the main character of Star Wars, so this scene really has a huge impact on the entire saga. Attacking our way into the second spot, we have, that's right, Attack of the Clones. The problem with this movie is that, in my opinion, there just aren't that many great scenes at all. I mean, obviously, we all know just how great the I hate sand line is, and everybody loved that, but in the end, I'm gonna have to go with the arena scene. From start to finish, this scene is awesome. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme defeating those monsters was cool enough, but then we got like 300 Jedi that just emerged from the middle of bumfrick nowhere, and the following chaos is sick. Plus, who could possibly forget the legendary Mace Windu versus Jango Fett smackdown? But gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be civil here, let's not lose our heads. Oh, too late, I see. Finally, to finish it off, Yoda coming in with the clones to save the day was epic, and it always reminds me of that one level from LEGO Star Wars 3, when you got a load of the Jedi. Get in there, Kipfisto, get in there, come on, get. But yeah, in a movie that had a lot of, let's be honest, not so great scenes, this one is a bit of a jewel in my opinion, and I'm a big fan. Also, let me just get this out of the way right now, I will not be including the Clone Wars movie in this video. Why not, you may be asking? Because my back's too sore, the sun's too bright, and my booty shakes from the left to the right. Let's get moving. Coming up next to number three is Revenge of the Sith, and this one was really hard. I mean, really hard. I mean, like, trying to laugh while watching Amy Schumer hard. Well, technically, I guess that'd be impossible, but you get my point. In the end, though, I finally settled on Obi-Wan and Anakin's last time seeing each other. Not the whole fight on Mustafar, but this last scene right here. Watching Obi-Wan being forced to cut down his old Padawan was really a heartbreaking moment, and the exchange that these two have with each other is legendary. I hear it quoted so often. On top of that, the CGI looks so good. Like, I know the prequels aren't exactly known for their stunning visual masterpieces, but I gotta give it to them. This whole scene looks really realistic. But yeah, one of the most moving moments in Star Wars, and I think that we all look back on this part of the movie with kind of a loving sadness. I will admit, it is a little bit heartbreaking to see Obi-Wan walk away. Because this video is in chronological order, the next movie on this list is obviously Rogue One. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's Solo, a Star Wars story. Man, that's like, what, the fifth video I've made that joke in? I gotta find a new gag. But regardless, let's go over Solo. Far and away, the best scene from this movie was when Han Solo pulled off the Kessel Run in the Millennium Falcon. I mean, this was obviously going to be a scene in the movie, and fans would have rioted if they hadn't shown it because it's so legendary, but it did not disappoint. This shot right here of the Star Destroyer lurking in the only way out gives me chills. And when they flew into that giant squid thing, holy cow, that was kind of insane. Like, I got freaked out watching it in theaters. Honestly, it's kind of sad that a Star Wars movie, of all things, gave us a better Kraken than Pirates of the Caribbean, but hey, it is what it is. Although this really was disappointing. I mean, they didn't even show the real thing. Up next is Rogue One, and I think that we all know the best scene from this movie. It was quite obviously the Darth Vader hallway scene. I remember watching this for the first time in theaters when it first came out, and it quite literally took my breath away. At first, all you hear is Darth Vader breathing, but then the lightsaber ignites and chaos just unfolds in front of you. He's literally a one-man army, just cutting a path through his enemies, and I am all here for it. I will say, though, I did feel bad for the Rebels, especially when Vader used the Force to pull their guns out of their hands. That was evil. I mean, imagine your one way to defend yourself against this monster who's on his way down a hallway to kill you, and your gun, the one thing that could possibly maybe help you if you really try hard enough, zoop, it's gone just like that. But yeah, not much more that I can say. We all know just how awesome this scene is, and everybody loves it. And speaking of people loving something, hello there everybody, my name is Jedward and I make tons of videos about Star Wars and other franchises like it. And if you're enjoying this video so far, then be sure to smash that subscribe button, thank you so much, it really helps me out. Moving into the original Star Wars movies, we have episode 4, A New Hope, and in my opinion, the absolute best scene from this movie was the Death Star Trench Run. The entire plot of the movie builds up to this point, and it does not disappoint. Hey, that rhymes. The entire fleet embarks on what is basically a mission with everything at stake, and launches this ultimate attack. 
In response, Darth Frickin' Vader himself comes out to play and starts laying waste to these X-Wings. This brings us to one of the best parts, which is Han Solo and Chewbacca coming back to save the day in the Millennium Falcon. I mean, find me a scene that brings a smile to your face faster. I don't think you physically can. Now, I've always said this, but is it kind of a Mary Sue moment for Luke to be able to use the Force to blow up the Death Star in one shot without a targeting system? Yeah, it kind of is. But because this is more of a one-off moment of overpoweredness for Luke and not a consistent trend for his character, <coughs> unlike some character I could mention, <coughs> <laughs> it is way easier to overlook, and it doesn't really detract from the scene in any meaningful way that much. That's my opinion, feel free to disagree, but let's rebel our way over to number 5, The Empire Strikes Back. So, there are two really great scenes in episode 5, and it was tough choosing between them. The contenders were the I am your father scene and Luke training with Yoda on Dagobah. But in the end, I did choose the no, I am your father scene. I wouldn't really know, but apparently, back in the day, when Vader announces that Luke is his son, there were audible screams and yells in movie theaters because of how big a surprise it was. And I don't really blame them. After a long and intense duel where Luke literally loses his hand, this is an incredible shock. And then Luke's determination to not join the dark side to the point where he'd rather jump off a cliff is kind of incredible to me. I don't know, man. There's not much more I can say. The emotional tension in this scene is insane, and it really is one of the most important moments in all of Star Wars. Up next at number six is Return of the Jedi, and this one is really obvious. It's when Luke has to choose between the light side and the dark side. What really makes it so great is how heroic he is. I mean, just listen to this right here and tell me you're not getting chills. Never. I'll never turn to dark side you failed your highness i am a jedi like my father before me what an awesome moment and then it gets even better when vader decides to choose the light side and sacrifices himself to save his son he also fulfills the prophecy and becomes the chosen one by bringing balance to the force at long last i mean hey it only took him like 20 years and he only did a ton of terrible stuff in that time but still fulfilling a prophecy is fulfilling a prophecy of course, Disney certainly didn't see it that way, but you know what? Let's just put that aside for now. Palpatine died right there and then in Return of the Jedi. Alright, we are now entering the Star Wars sequels, and the best scene from The Force Awakens was probably when Han Solo and Chewbacca first entered the Millennium Falcon. Now look, I believe that The Force Awakens fundamentally ruined Han Solo's character by undoing all of his character development in the original trilogy and reverting him back to a lone rogue who abandoned his wife and son and only cares about himself. However, at this point in the movie, we didn't know that yet. All we do know is that one of our favorite characters from our childhoods has just come back, and it's a pleasure seeing him again. Plus, I know this isn't really a part of the same scene, but Han Solo explaining how it's all real, the Force, the Jedi, all of it, was actually a really moving scene. And as viewers, I think it's safe to say that most of us found this really satisfying. Again, not the same scene, but still a great moment. Honestly, I personally think there are a few scenes in The Force Awakens that could have been put in this spot, so let me know in the comments what scene you would have put. But now, we're moving on to Ryan Johnson's blessing to Star Wars, that is to say, The Last Jedi. Now, I think that some of you may be surprised with what I put here, but actually, I think that one of the best scenes in this movie is when Rey and Kylo Ren teamed up in the Royal Throne Room. I'm not talking about the fight itself, because we all know that, despite how visually cool it was, there were so many flaws and mistakes. I'm talking about the concept of the dark side and the light side coming together and teaming up. The only times that this has really happened before are in random Clone Wars episodes, and kind of in Return of the Jedi. But even in Return of the Jedi, Vader is just converted back to the light side, so it doesn't even really count. So when Kylo Ren kills Snoke, and he and Rey team up against the guards, it's kind of an epic moment. Of course, then they just gotta ruin it right after by having Kylo Ren go back to almost the exact same place he was before, basically. But for a second, for just a second, this scene was really good. Plus, to be honest, there aren't exactly that many great scenes from this movie to choose from, so we kinda gotta go with what we got. We finally reached the last movie in this video, and that's the 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special. No, I'm kidding. It's obviously The Rise of Skywalker. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say that what I think the best scene from this movie is may shock you, because in my opinion, it's when Rey hears the voices of the Jedi towards the end of the movie. Yes, Rey is a Mary Sue who has no obstacles to overcome whatsoever, but the one challenge that she does have is not being able to hear the voices of the Jedi that came before her. So when she does finally have the ability to hear them, it is pretty satisfying. Plus, getting to hear the voices of those characters was kind of cool, especially after not hearing a word about them three movies deep into what were supposed to be sequels. But yeah, those are the best scenes from every Star Wars movie, and if you like videos about certain scenes, then you need to watch this video right here, where I ranked every opening scene in Star Wars from worst to best. I think you'll really like it.